What is going on, Twitch? It's your boy, Shadow. I am back with my lovely wife. You can probably just see her head over here. She's not feeling too well, so she's going to hang back there, but she joined us today. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she joined us. She's toughing it out. So we're going to do uh, today, I'm going to wait on a, the people that are going to watch this to join um, so they can see it from the beginning, but... Um, Today I am going to be showing you guys something new, uh, a new method to modding Borderlands 3. This is server-side modding um, and hotfix modding. So instead of a trainer or anything, uh, we're going to be doing hotfixes and we're going to be doing um, pretty much injecting code uh, into the Borderlands 3 server and applying it to their server as a hotfix. So a uh, hotfix being something that is immediately fixed with a patch. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating patches um, from script, and then we're injecting them server-side into um, Borderlands server because they're, um, they're kind of about modding, to be honest. They kind of don't, don't mind it whatsoever, so... <clears throat> We're going to go back here, and we're going to shut down all this other stuff that's going on on my phone. I'm going to go to Twitch and sh shoot this thing a couple places. I can change my screen name, by the way, in seven days. Yeah, for Twitch. They don't. They let you do it every 90 days. Okay. Right now, it's your darkness. You are darkness. Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to shoot this link a couple more pieces. We're going to go to Gotham Repacks. We're going to shoot this under the Borderlands 3 modding. We're going to shoot this to Shadow Repacks as well. What's going on? Which Whichever one's watching, Aaron or... What up, D? Uh, and also, whichever one of you... <laughs> Dang, you ugly, and hello, Miss Shadow. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you ugly. That's why you ain't on Twitch. <laughs> All right, we're going to shoot this in the main room, too. And then I'm going to put it on Facebook, and then we're good to go, and we're good to start. So um, this will give people an opportunity to click on this link before I actually start the process. Oh, what's up, Aaron? Here at high school. Ain't yeah. you a high Ain't you a little old to be in high school? Guy? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you know what's good about high school girls? I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> <That> <laughs> Figure out which one that was. <laughs> you can't say shit like that. <laughs> like, hey, 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 Heather, man. What? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> All right, here we go, you guys. What's up, Aaron and D? All right, we're going to start this process. Now, this is kind of complicated, okay? I want to explain. There are prerequisites to uh, doing this, and I'll show you guys, and I'm, I think I'm going to put the links for this stuff in the description on my YouTube version of this. So there are prerequisites to doing this. Um, first off, you have to download uh, a couple things, and I'll show you what those are. Um, we'll just go to the history. It's probably under my history. Uh, we're going to go... 
all this GitHub stuff. All right, here it is. So, one of the that's is the um, I'm reading is B3HM uh, the injector now. See how it says this mod requires one or more of the additional files in order to work properly. Now we're going to go here to the B3HM. This is allowing you the, it's a hotfix merger, Borderlands hotfix merger. This is kind of the same thing that I did and I, I put together at Cody Code. Um, you can use this one. I have my own, so I don't need to. But uh, from Dark Hell worked on the web UI design and everything and this is the hotfix merger that you need to do. So this is where I'm going to lead you in my YouTube video is to this. And then after the hotfix merger, you install the hotfix merger and get that working correctly. Then you can in, enjoy the read the mods that are for Borderlands 3 script work. Now, I'll put those links in the description so it'll lead you right to them. Um, that's none of your guys' business, so we're going to go out of there. Uh, once you install it and you boot up Borderlands 3, you'll notice this icon that's going to pop up right here. Yeah, it just takes a minute to boot up. Now that icon will boot up, it'll connect to the web UI, and then it'll boot the game. Got to boot up Steam first. There's my. I don't. Cool. So here's the icon. Steam popped up. I don't know why it led me here, but. Why is this shortcut? There it goes. It automatically opens this, Borderlands 3 Hotfix Modding. And then you click on that, and you're going to open the web UI. <clears throat> the web UI will lead you here. These are current Hotfix paths that I already have. I will show you guys how to inject them and work with them and stuff, um, in case you're not familiar with this. But that's the whole point of me making this video. So right now, um, <laughs> you guys in that fucking Overwatch too. I don't know. So once we get in the menu, I'll show you what's up. There's even a customized menu in this. We got to wait for Claptrap to pop up, start doing stuff. So as you can see, we have Twitch Studio, which is broadcaster. We have the Hotfix Merger, uh, Google Chrome, Path Injector, and then we have Borderlands 3 here working. So uh, I'm going to turn the volume up right here. Not too loud, though, or my TV will shut off. Now we're going to sign in, obviously, a Shadow. Duh. Customized. Halloween themed home menu. Uh, I did start Amara. She's my character. And I will also be going through modding with uh, Zach's um, Borderlands 3 modding program, which uh, Zach, credit to him for doing that because that was a lot of work. And uh, from Dark Hell also has a Borderlands 3 modding program, but I don't use that one. Um, Zach. Claptrap does have a pumpkin on him. He's not sure where to go right now. What do you mean to tell me I can be injected into the Matrix? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs>
Aaron, you still didn't answer me. Why are you in high school? We're already in the Matrix, correct. So also, um, with Borderlands 3 redone, it comes with custom rarities in the game that aren't in the game normally. Uh, it's going to be an aqua-colored rarity this time. Um, it is. It comes with extra loot. It comes with extra missions. Um, isn't that super cool? I love that shit. It comes with custom lots of stuff. And I'll show you guys that. Just let me... I gotta repack this bowl, because... I get down to about half a bowl and the flame goes around the fucking weed and I hate that shit when I'm trying to work. So we're gonna stir this. Here, baby, you wanna hit this where I empty this? It was still green when I flipped it. Alright. So we're going to go grab my controller, we're going to go to, <coughs> well actually no, wait, <laughs> before we load the game, I'm sorry, <coughs> before we load the game, there is another prerequisite, okay? While you're in this menu, you got to go to your hotfix merger, all right? Now, these are all ones that I have, like Unlimited Bank, Backpack Space, uh, Amara Radiation Amara, uh, Buff Project Shields, or Projected Shields, the ones that project forward. Those are buffed. Um, Borderlands 3 Redone is in there. Uh going to be the third safe that you start off with in the game that Claptrap gives you a gun in. That's modded. It's full of shit. Um, iridium fabricator, the key iridium fabricator. Now my fabricator keys and uh, other collectible cards that you collect in the game. Um, faster slide, that sure works. I slide like I'm running. So, even faster than I'm running. Uh, infinite slide, now I can slide until I jump up. Uh, universal comms. So any comms you pick up are universal per character. Uh, Rough Rider Reborn. So the Rough Rider shield is reborn. You can damn near never die with it on. Those are the ones I have now. Now, we're going to go to Get Mods right here. It will here to GitHub. Hence why there was so many GitHub clicks in my history. So right there you have... All the mod categories, okay? Let's just start here. These are the categories. These aren't the actual scripts or whatever you need to inject into the game. Uh, you can't just grab this link and inject everything either, so don't try that because I already did. Um, per category, general game plan balance, you got game mode balance. We'll just click on that. Now, these are the different subcategories. Everything you can use. Legendary price scaling, scaled uh, status effect damage, old school mayhem, omega, uh, manticore raid. We'll just click on this. For, we'll go to this. Tells you what it's about. Uh, fight the raid level omega manticore at the start of the Hyperion Slaughter Star. This seems to make blue up off the map. Sucks. Code of how to move a spawn location for a particular wave, move it physically in space, and then spawn a big baddie there. You can steal this further and jam it into your mod, maybe move him somewhere fun. Well, I don't want him to jump off the map, so we're going to just skip that. <clears throat> Here's the redone mod. There's way too much information, but I just... Oh, this is you and that. When you're already in the category on that mod, that particular mod, you'll come to these boxes. 
do is just click on this. It'll open up this script right here. This is the script. You don't copy the script, so don't copy the script. Don't even try to copy the script. You see how big this is? Yeah, so we're not going to copy that. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this link, this hotfix right here. We're going to copy this. Go back to your hotfix manager right here and add URL. Okay? If you already have it on your computer and you've downloaded the mod, you can add a local path to where that mod is on your computer. You add URL and paste it. I'm not going to save it because I already have it in my menu. And then you hit OK and it'll add it to your menu over here. So, I mean, I guess I can do it and then remove it, but you'll hit OK. See how I added it? <clears throat> now, when you boot up the game, this mod manager will boot up. Uh, everything that's running will be added right here. We'll be running on the delete that because I already have it. Right here. I know, but I keep trying to delete this one. There. Oh, it deleted both of them. What the fuck? These are the parameters over here of the mod. So you can, this is translated by the way, from what it was. These are all the key values and everything. Um, pretty much for region management. So these are the parameters. But this is the hotfix over here. This is the link over here. That's how you add them to this. Now, we are go back to some other ones that I have not added yet. World drop scales with your level. That's cool. <clears throat> Let's see what this is all about. Fight all the enemies in books and canyon who now have the strength of invincible raid bosses. I only have any VIP top. Freddy. Freddy's level two most of the time. <laughs> Okay, now we're back at the main menu. We're going to go under activities. Okay. Takedowns, slaughters, seasonal events. Uh, let's go to seasonal events. Because I have the season pass. So we're going to go to that. Halloween, Christmas, cartel, guaranteed ghosts. That's what this is. When Bloody Harvest is active. This mod will guarantee that all enemies will be haunted. Also, all urns and skull boxes inside Heck Hole will spawn a ghost. Oh, yeah, we're going to add that one. Okay. Let's Alexa, or Echo, nobody was talking to you. peculiar all right so now we have guaranteed ghosts this will now we're gonna when we reboot the game uh, these will take effect all limited time event funds active This makes all of them appear at once. We're going to do this one too.
supercharged crystal event. We're going to do that because that's an old event, but I liked it. So. And then we're going to go back here. I want out of this. All right, so now we're going to go back to the main menu, choose a different category. Siren changes because I'm a siren. So let's see what we got. Amara 2.0. Ooh. Amara 2.0. As it says. got a shield buff. All right. Neat. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how you add stuff. Okay. Now we're going to go and reboot. close boom cool now what we're going to go to do is <clears throat> 